Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. In today's video, we're going to find out how many gallons per minute this 3 4 inch hydraulic ram pump will use. Let me show you our setup. Here is the ram pump. So the drive pipe is 3 4 inch and the output is a half inch. Got a hundred foot of flex tube that goes up this hill and comes out right there. Then we've got a drive pipe that goes up to this 55 gallon rain barrel. So how is this going to work? We've got a 55 gallon drum. So if we just time how long it takes for that to empty, we'll know how many gallons per minute we have coming out of this pump. I'm also going to use a five gallon bucket at the delivery pipe to see how many gallons we get during that 55 gallon drum drain. So let's get started. I already have the delivery pipe full and cut off and the air is out of the drive pipe so it should start right off the bat. I'm going to go ahead and push my stopwatch and we'll see how long this takes. Now you might notice something different on this pump, and that is there's only one brass swing check valve. So the other side has this uh, PVC inline valve. That's my new design that's available for sale at landthehouse.com. So while the pump is doing its thing, just wanted to check a few numbers here. So just eyeballing it, we've got roughly three feet of head, which should give us around 20 feet of lift. Let's go check our bucket. Well over a gallon. So I'm not exactly sure, but we're probably about 20 feet above the pump down there and probably about 15 feet 16 feet above the uh, barrel maybe even 17 so to have this kind of flow is good you can hear the heartbeat So from the looks of it, we're pushing around right here, so we've not used very much. Let's find out how long this drive pipe is. Twenty six feet. All right, it's been twelve minutes, and our first five gallons is full. I'm going to dump this real quick so we can get more. All right, so at uh, 14 and a half minutes, we're a little better than halfway, so doing well. We're at 23 minutes and Getting real close to the end here. And there it is. So let's go check our output at the top. We're at 24 minutes total. Here is our second five gallon bucket. So 
what is that somewhere around four gallons 3.8 not exactly sure but so let's just call it between eight and nine gallons of water pumped in 24 minutes well I would call that a successful test we ran 55 gallons through this pump in 24 minutes and we had an output of between 8 and 9 gallons. So the gallons per minute comes to about 2.6. So the ratio of water lost to water pumped is about 1 to 7. 1 pumped, 7 lost. Not bad. Well I hope you enjoyed this video. It's always nice to learn something new about the RAM pump. Um, like I said, I do sell these pre-assembled pumps on Land to House, so I have three different sizes right now. Go check them out, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Well, we found out the gallons per minute for a 3 fourths inch ram pump. Now that's working at ideal conditions. So there are a few things you can do to make this pump use less gallons per minute. And I will be looking into that in a future video. If you liked this video, you might like this one to your left. I'm using the one and a quarter hydraulic ram pump to find out how many gallons per minute it consumes. Also got to work with a couple of friends of mine and they learned some fun new tricks and then got to hunt for salamanders. Well, please subscribe and if you haven't already, push the thumbs up button for this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. So how is this going to work? We've got a 55 gallon bucket. I live close to the train. <laughs>